So I wanted to show you guys a cool trick for how you can open and add apps to the lock screen on your iPhone. And you're also probably impressed with this slick looking Superman wallpaper I'm using. But to standpoint, adding apps to the lock screen isn't something that comes stock in your settings. So you are going to need to use a third party app to make this happen. And the app I'm going to be recommending is called Lock Launcher. Now this app was in beta testing for months, but it finally released, it cost $1 to use. And in my opinion, guys, it's definitely worth the dollar admission. Okay, anyways, when you open Lock Launcher up, it's going to have a plus icon in the top right-hand corner. What you want to do here is click the plus, and then you want to tap Add Image. Now, when you click Add Image, there's going to be a glyph option. And for this example, I'm going to go with Instagram. Now, after you choose your glyph, you just got to choose Instagram, click Done, and then you need to go into your settings. Now, if you don't do this next part, this isn't going to work. So you need to go into your settings, click on Wallpaper, and then you need to click Customize. Now, upon the release of iOS 16, they started letting you add widgets to the lock screen, and fortunately, this is how you do it. So we're looking for Lock Launcher. We're going to click on it, and you're going to see, there it is, guys. Instagram has been added. Now, you just click Done. I'm going to lock this iPhone up so you guys can see that it's there, and there it is, man, looking all fresh. Now, I'm going to do two more examples for you guys with this, but just keep in mind, this is just very useful because it's cool to just open your apps from the lock screen without having to like search through your you know uh, home screen to find it or your app library. Anyways, I'm going to do YouTube as the next example here. So we're going to search for the YouTube glyph. And then we got to choose YouTube in here so it opens it up. Then we got to click done. Go back into our wallpaper settings. And we have to actually add the lock launcher again. So you have to add it multiple times. Um, when you do this, <clears throat> you typically, I think, tap a couple times on it or hold. Give me a second here. Might be a tap. A double tap. Okay, so you can see Instagram showing up again, but it should be double tap. There we go. Okay, so when you double tap on it, it's going to give you some different options that you've created. And now you can see we've got YouTube as an app icon on this iPhone lock screen. Let's check it out. And dang, guys, there it is. All right, so I'm going to do one more here. We're going to go with Snapchat as our third example. All right, so with the plus icon, we're going to search for the glyph Snapchat. Choose it. We got to click Snapchat down here for the link. All right, then we're going to click Done, go back into our wallpaper settings, and once again, uh, we're going to add it. Now, currently, you can only have three widgets on your lock screen, so you are going to be limited to that. But honestly, guys, I just think this app's really cool, and it's probably the best one for doing this on your iPhone. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, you know, quick tip on it. If you have any questions about using Lock Launcher, you know, feel free to message me below. But I got to tell you what, guys, it's just really cool. I mean, look at, look at how amazing that looks man you know you get some youtube instagram snapchat all accessible from the lock screen on your iphone okay, anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this one thanks for watching it and we'll see y'all in the next video